Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to talk about Han Solo's shirt. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. That's right. Today we're going to talk about Han Solo's A New Hope shirt. Because I think we all have different memories of what it looks like. My advice is go out to Google and do some image searches so that you can see what his shirt looks like instead of relying on your memory, okay? Because you might be looking at this and thinking, that looks good. And I agree, it does look good. <laughs> For those of us who had the figure, we remember a stark white shirt with a big 70s popped collar and a low V-neck. But um, when I look at the reference photos, I always feel like Han's shirt is a little bit on the yellow side. It almost looks like an aged parchment. At least that's how it comes across on video. Now, his costume shirt in bright studio lighting uh, under test conditions might have been white, but uh, what you want to do is you want to more closely resemble how people remember seeing it in the film. Now, I'm sure you could get away with this color uh, and the style and probably nobody would know the difference, but you know, for those people who want to try to go towards a little bit more screen accurate, this is what I would do. So um, this right here is the standard, uh, we'll call it costume base that you can find on eBay, all right? So I started with the costume base base <laughs> and built from there. So that came with pants, a shirt, and a vest. I did not buy their pleather gun belt. I got a leather gun belt from a different distributor. I got all the, um, the greeblies that go in the belt from a different distributor and I bought the toy gun. You can actually watch my toy gun mod here on this channel. You can see specifically which toy gun I got and how I modded it. I would advise you to check that out. So this is the costume base shirt that comes with costume base. Now, before I go on to the next shirt, I wanna give you just a piece of advice about the vest. What I see a lot of first time costume players do is they take it out of the package and they put it on and they wear it like immediately. And a lot of times what that ends up doing is it looks too brand new. And you can also see the fold lines and the crease lines from how it was folded in the package. My advice is wet everything up with just water and throw it in the dryer, okay? That'll take all the crease lines out and then give it more realistic wrinkles, okay? You want it to have realistic wrinkles. Han's vest is very wrinkly. The corners on the pocket flaps are all curled up. The back has some kind of wiggle in some of those pockets. And so the best organic way I've found is just to get everything wet, really soak it up, no soap, and just throw it in the dryer and kind of let nature take its course. And that creates a more lived in look, at least in my opinion. So I wanna show you the second shirt I purchased. All right, so this is the second shirt, okay? And as you can see, it's a little more of a yellowed look. I think it more closely resembles the coloring of uh, the shirt he wears. Now, admittedly, this is not the A New Hope shirt. If you were going for a strictly A New Hope look, of course you would go with the first one, right? More stark white, more of that deep V-neck, and uh, no cuffs here. But this is the shirt that he wears in Empire Strikes Back with the jacket, and it's the shirt that he wears in Return of the Jedi, again with the vest. So I feel like this shirt is more universal it would play for all three films. I think if you were wearing this shirt with the A New Hope pants uh, and vest and gun belt, I don't think anybody would notice or care. So I know some of us like to have multiple shirts and vests and jackets from all the films. That's fine. But I think for me, I just found the costume-based shirt really hot. Um, the fabric is really super thick. It's not lightweight and kind of flowy. I also felt like the V on it was cut really deep for somebody my height. I'm only 5'5", five five, so when you have a deep V like that, it's pretty it's pretty noticeable. Han Solo is over six feet tall. He's very tall, right? So it's, his deep V is not as noticeable on, on him. So I kind of like that this has the, the double collar on it as well. So I'm just making this video just for information only. If you were looking for a shirt that was a little more parchment colored, had a little bit more of a yellow tint to it, but still kept that Han Solo look, then I would recommend the shirt that's on sale at Galaxy's Edge in uh, Disneyland or Disney World. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me as always. 
and may the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.